Hi, everybody, and welcome to Digital Champions. I'm Charlene Shirk, your host, where we get to speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today is Dallas McLaughlin with Dallas McLaughlin LLC. Thanks so much for joining us today, Dallas. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about what you do over there. Yeah, so I mean, digital marketing, it's long been expensive and confusing for most businesses. Um, you know, I'm here trying to fix that by bringing clarity and transparency to what I believe is almost an intentionally confusing and often overpriced for what it is type service. Um, the way I'm doing this is offering direct to expert marketing services where, you know, you work directly with me as well as a stable of other veterans in this industry across paid media advertising, search engine optimization, as well as some conversion rate optimization for websites. And that idea of you know, working with the person who's actually making strategic and tactical decisions across the accounts, um, you'd be surprised that that kind of runs in juxtaposition to kind of what I've experienced in my traditional agency life where the client's often removed from the person who's making those decisions and who actually knows what's going on with that account. And the client's often left to work with you know, account managers, project managers, which to me created just an all around confusing and painful experience. And I've watched that happen for a long time and kind of set out and carved my own path to, to solve some of those pain points. And Dallas, when you're directly with the clients um, involved in their strategy and working with them one-on-one, -on -one, you're also keenly aware of their budget. It's not like you've got a lot of cooks in the kitchen who are adding all this stuff because they don't know really what's within that client's budget. And I think a lot of folks think that it's out of their financial reach by being able to work with someone like you and the folks that uh, and your colleagues who are veteran professionals. Yeah, I mean, that's always kind of been the angle I've played since I began in this world, you know, again, over a decade ago. You know, the accounts I started with were very small. You know, if you think about digital marketing, you know, 12, 13, 14 years ago, um, you know, we were getting penny clicks. We were getting hundreds of Facebook likes when that came around for $5, things like that. Um, so the first businesses I went out and worked with, you know, that was kind of the sales angle. Hey, give me whatever scraps you've got from your, you know, radio budget or your, your print ad or your direct mail circular, whatever scraps you've got, I'll show you that this works and I'll show you how to measure that thing. And what we'll do is we'll create a reinvestment plan that everything we pull out of this program and we measure and show that we'll put it back into the program. And then as I went through my career, you know, I started working with bigger and bigger brands all the way up to the American Expresses, the State Farms, the AAAs, those guys where they're shoveling millions of dollars at this thing and you kind of lose sight of, but what's actually working. And mm -hmm. then when I went and did my own thing, that was actually where my heart was, was working with just those mom and pops. Hey, this is what we've got. Like, how do we make this work? Because we've got to make this business work. So those are the clients I work with where I just really focus their dollars on the smallest audience that I can find. that's going to click on that thing, convert on that thing or whatever the objective has to be. And we work really closely together to make sure all of those dollars are working. And we have a super transparent relationship where if I'm looking at stuff and I'm treating it like my own dollars, and if I see that that's not working, I'm gonna have an honest conversation with them and say, hey, we had this hypothesis, doesn't appear to be working how we thought, let's try this other thing now. And that creates a very collaborative, iterative experience where we make sure we're staying in line with those budgets and we're doing what's best for the business. Yeah, that's definitely one of the benefits of working with a lean organization. So let me ask you, other than budgets, when your clients are coming to you, what is the pain point that you're trying to solve for them? Um, kind of what I always say is sometimes I get put in what they're, what they're hiring me for is this digital marketing service. But often I joke that I find myself in kind of a therapy role where often the business owners or the stakeholders in the business, whether they're marketing people, Oftentimes it's literally the employees on the ground with no marketing experience. When I'm working with them, they know what their problems are. They're just not properly communicating those to each other. So I'll spend time with them again in that therapy role to saying, Hey, what are the pain points in your business? Is it overall website traffic? Is it foot traffic in your business? Is it overall market awareness? Um, it's just really trying to get them to be on the same page to understand what are we all heading towards? What is the North star? And then putting quantitative work behind that to know what does it look like when we get there? How is your business fundamentally different than when we started that we can all then high five and then go figure out what is the next Star and go chase that thing together. So we just work really close together. 
I don't know, Dallas, it sounds like you're kind of a business life coach already when you're giving a high five and you're going to celebrate. And we interviewed a gentleman on the show not too long ago and his offer, his uh, business was digital marketer and business life coach because he found himself in yeah. the same situation that you did. Well, Dallas, thanks so much for joining us today. All great stuff. And we appreciate you making time today to be on Digital Champions. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Charlene. It's great to be here. Oh, it's our pleasure. And if you'd like to see more about what Dallas is doing, you can check him out on dailyadbrief.com. And that's going to do it for us today on this segment of Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and we will talk to you next time.